Hello, it is so good to be in your face again. And as you know, I am your number one real estate consultant that gives you the very best of everything real estate within your budget. So today we will be visiting my comment section again. And it's so exciting when I get to read from you. And I mean, I get to hear your responses. It's actually fascinating, you know, to hear different people's opinion about something for me it it you know changes a lot of things for me i'm learning actually and thank you for your responses thank you for your comments they are um you know are what makes me who i am because i'm learning i'm trying to be the best i can be to serve you well and to keep providing you with the very best of real estate so we're diving in immediately Yeah, so this um, comments are from my recent videos I posted like two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago on the beachfront property. I am so sure you are, you've been eager to actually, you know, hear this part of, um, hear from me on this particular property. And yeah, I have a longing to do this too, really longing to do this. All right, so we, we dive in straight away. First, this is from Chin Dominic. And he says, development might not come here in our lifetime. Now, and this property is um, selling, we have the phase one and the phase two. Phase one selling at um, 1.2 million naira per plot and phase two, 800,000 naira per plot in the heart of Ibejeleki. Now, Ibejeleki is known to be um, the future hub for trade and beacon for commerce in the nearest future. Um, so that's where we have the Dangote Refinery, the Deep Sea Port, the Lacompine Tropicana, the Free Trade Zone. We have a site for an airport. We have so many beach resorts around there. We have so many developments coming there also. We have people who have started developing their estates. And we have, yeah, numerous estates right there. So are you still saying or are you still thinking about the fact that this place may not develop in our lifetime? Really? Really? All right, so let me break Ibejeleki down, right? A few years ago, um, Aja was once like that. Shango Tedo was once like that. I'm pretty sure most people may not know these areas, but I'm gonna break it down to the best of my capacity. Now, these places are along the Leki Ekpe Expressway. We have Aja. Now, Aja is just, just after Leki, but then it's still along the same stretch. We have Aja, we have Ibrahim Adesanya, we have we have um, Shongo Tedo, we have Abijo, we have Awoyaya, we have Eputu, we have Lakowe, we have um, Bogije, we have, you know, all these places, right? Now, these places were not developed, say, 10 years ago. 10 years ago, it was pretty much a village. More like people wouldn't want to, you know, come there. I mean, I, I visited um, Lakowe about, um, five years ago and i was like where is this place what am i doing here you know but then <laughs> that's why we have the lakawe golf course and resort a fantastic resort fantastic resort and developments have you know jumped into this place like not just crypt in it has jumped jumped into this place and to get a land a plot of land in shango tedo you, you'll be spending up to um 20 million naira per plot now, these are places, a client of mine was talking to me about the fact that he bought a plot of land about, you know, 10 years ago or less in Shongo Tedo for 120,000 naira. And today, a plot of land is actually um, up to 20 million naira. And for another property, which I sold in about, I think four years, four years ago, yeah, I sold the property in an estate for 5 million naira. And today, it's sold out it's actually sold out but then the worth right now is 22 million naira now that is the rate at which development is, is jumping in i'm not creeping in into lagos jumping into lagos ibejuleki in a few years would be something else entirely with all these major developments estates around people developing houses i mean what else brings development if not industries banks companies estates schools um places of worship 
ShopRite, recreational centers. What else brings development? And we have sites for all of this. Now, not just sites, because the free trade zone is already existing. The deep sea port is already being constructed. The refinery will be, con will be completed, say, next next year at most was meant to be, have been completed this year but i think the covid 19 and all of that so the 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 um refinery and when that is completed what happens there will be housing deficits there'll be a lot of people who would need homes around that axis they won't want to travel so far and that's where other companies come in other estates that are springing up and apartments are coming into play and people begin to live there and then we have banks also. We have we have the um, access bank already there, and we have more banks coming up. So what are we talking about? In fact, um, I think two weeks ago I got something. There was this news, right? Um, so the government, that is the governor of Lagos State, Songo Ulu, Governor Songo Ulu, to open Ibejuleki for development. And um, Lagos State Government has unveiled plans to open up new towns in Ituomu and its adjoining communities in the Betuleki Local Council Development Area to fast track development. Are you reading that? They've started opening up places in Ibejuleki to fast track development. Governor Babaji De Songolu had approved the development of new towns within Ituomu and its adjoining communities to raise the status of the area. The Surveyor General, Olutomi Shongowawa, said, this is going to be the beginning of new things to happen in the communities in Bejuleki. Now, this is just one of the big things coming to Ibejuleki. So yes, if I were you, I would take advantage of the opportunities available and invest right now in Ibeche Leki. That's what people did. The Leki we have today, some smart investors, body cheap and invested. Same thing with Banana Island. And today they could resell at a higher value. I mean, we have land selling for it. Um, 100 million, 120 in Banana Island. We have for 500 million, 600 million, 700 million, even a billionaire. And guess what? People are buying it. So yes, to Dominic. <laughs> a lifetime is such a long time. Five, ten years, Ibejuleki will be something else entirely. It would would blow your mind. Exactly what you're saying right now was what people said about Aja. People said about Lekki Phase 1. Have you read about Lekki Phase 1? Lekki Phase 1 was a slum. Absolute slum. But today, that's where the elites and that's where so many people who, you know, consider themselves to have made it, you know, want to move to immediately so i hope that answers your is it a question no i hope that enlightens you with all that i've said i hope i've been able to enlighten you that ibejuleki isn't what you think and sure developments are coming there and not within a lifetime in a very short period of time the next comment and this is um from kate williams are you guys going to plant trees and grasses in the estate or is it another concrete concrete jungle so i understand the fact that i mean um everyone needs green you know green 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 you keep clamoring for green so yes um the developers had at least then because i keep passing your message to as many developers as possible and to those i'm actually working with trying to you know incorporate greens you know the greenery the trees i mean and for the beach the beachfront estate yeah I mean, that's what makes it beautiful, right? That's what makes it different. The fact that we have palm trees there. So yes, we are going to incorporate all of that into the estate. So the next comment is um, from Diaspora Voice. Let us know if the land has a CFO or government excision. Otherwise, it will be a potential loss to anyone putting their money in this. So um, I, I'm going to kind of dwell on this because I need people, I mean, a lot of people don't understand this whole document thingy. And at first I, th I said to myself that um, I really don't want to discuss this. I want uh, my lawyers and my surveyors who handle my due diligence, you know, to do all of that because that's their specialty. That's, that's their profession. 
I'm a real estate consultant as much as I know about these but that's what they do but I would do my best possible to talk about it and in my subsequent episodes I'll get these individuals these experts to come talk about it and you know enlighten you just because I want you to always under all circumstances at all times make the right real estate investment decision so let me just touch this and um, I hope uh, my explanation will be clear enough so no it does not have a C of O now C of O is certificate of occupancy there are processes to um, acquiring a C of O there is excision gazette C of O you know um, these processes are necessary they come before you get your C of O now for the land no it does not have a C of O the excision is being processed um, from the land use act the law it, uh, all lands belong to the government right but then he releases some to the indigents because the truth is before the government the indigents have always you know always had this land to themselves passed down from their forefathers you know as inheritance and then the government comes and grabs the whole land and says it belongs to the government so right now the lands belong to the government but then he releases some and that process is excision you know releases some to the people to the indigents to have for themselves and there are two types of acquisition that is um the government acquiring a property there are two types there's the committed and there is the global for the committed that's when the government really wants to use it for something and for the global i mean that's what most um, companies or uh, developers some of them actually you know go ahead and buy and then begin to process their excisions from the globally acquired property or the yeah from the globally acquired property so this particular property has been globally acquired and we are processing the excision just to ensure that okay um you could buy property cheap and uh in the nearest future it could sell expensive because the truth is properties with the cfo are way more expensive way way more expensive and for the lands we have in Ibeju Lekki with a CEO of to start from 6 million, 8 million naira upwards. And um, excision too. They're also expensive. The waterfront properties we have with an excision, we have for 6 million, we have for 12 million, you know, and not everybody can actually afford that. So we decided to, you know, get something um, that's affordable do our due diligence and show okay this property is not committed this property is can be processed and usually the worst case scenario when it comes to a globally acquired property is the fact that all the lands are not approved reasons why we don't get to sell all our properties we sell some so that the um the ones that are given to us nobody gets to buy out of the ones that aren't given to us or the ones that weren't approved so we don't sell all our properties we sell some and there are a huge chunk left for um, the processing so when it's approved not all for instance you, you request for about 10 plots of land what will be given to you is um, probably like six or seven you know and the rest the government I hope I've been able to answer that so no it doesn't have a C of O the estate perfects all the documentation right now we are processing the excision because it has been globally acquired okay from the next we'll move on to the next uh, comment and uh, that is from crystal 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 if I have money I will buy all and build build an eight-star hotel that is such a wise decision don't worry don't worry the money is coming and i will be right there waiting for your call to ensure you buy enough for your eight star hotel i mean most clients who bought you know they bought in numbers to build hotels to build resorts and crystal you are in my prayers so when that money comes don't forget to pick up your phone and dial my number because i will be so excited to you know, give you um all the land so you could build your eight star hotel you could build your resort you could build you know your mall you could build everything you want to build <laughs> okay so we move on to the next comment and that's from olayinka oguntikwe madam are the properties really beachfront or mostly close to the beach or the closer to the beach the higher the price okay so they aren't so close to the beach they are close to the beach but there is always that setback 
required by the government so it's not just i mean facing the beach you understand but there's a setback which has been required by the government before you can you know have properties that are facing the beach and properties facing the beach are basically commercial properties that's that's um a regulation from the government so yes it is facing the beach there is nothing else in front of it but it's not you know just by the beach i mean you don't just wake up and walk to the beach five steps ten steps and yes it's it's um a different price for the properties that are facing the beach it's going for 1.5 million naira per plot and you buy a minimum of two plots and that's and it's outright so you buy at once no installment on that okay the next uh, comment is from z michaels my michaels Hello, I'd like to confirm if these offers are still available and I also want to confirm if the land has a use restriction. For example, if I if personal houses can be built on it or just for commercial uses, thanks. Yeah, so um, you can build whatever you want to build. We have two categories. We have the commercial, we have the residential. You can't have a residential um, property in the commercial access and vice versa. So you can build what you want in the residential. You can also build what you want in the commercial, although there are certain restrictions. We can have, um, we can have, uh, what's it called? A fuel station, we can have poultry. You know, there's some restrictions to what you can build in the residential, but for the, um, in the commercial rather. But for the residential, you can build what you want, but then there will be some certain um, restrictions, basically, um on the kind of building no we don't tell you what to build exactly but then you know skyscrapers and all of that they are restrictions basically for what what you can build there but you can still build what you want so we don't tell you kind of design you have your design yourself i hope you get me thank you our next comment are you liking this give me a thumbs up if you're liking this thank you in advance the next comment is from samuel Samuel's school account. Wow, I love you, Auntie. Oh, I didn't see that coming. I love you too, darling. Thank you so much. Thank you. Am I allowed to, to blush? <laughs> All right, thank you so much, darling. Thank you. The next comment is from Original Delta. Original Delta. There has to be a reason it's cheap. Perhaps it's flawed. It floods easily or is it a swamp land or wet land? It's a dry land. And the reason it's cheap is because it's in Ibetu Lekki. It is not Lekki. I get that all the time. That Lekki, Lekki. Ibetu Lekki is totally different from Lekki. Lekki is a different area entirely. And you get to pass through Lekki. Huh? Before you get to Ibetu Lekki right ibeju leki is a developing part of lagos leki is already developed and that's where the highbrow you know the big people get to stay that's our highbrow area of lagos we have leki we have vi we have Bikoyi, we have and that's on the island um island um yeah basically so leki is totally different from ibeju leki now ibeju leki you get land you get lands for like eight hundred thousand. you get lands for like six hundred thousand. they're cheaper and then another reason is because we are processing the documents. The excision is being processed. If it has been processed, you could be getting properties from like 2.8 million, 3 million, 5 million, you know, and the likes. It keeps increasing. So, yeah, that's that's the difference. I need to really, really speak about this because it keeps getting people, you know, saying, no, 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 it's not possible. It's scam and all. It's not scam. It's not scam. There are two different areas. Eventually, lucky, lucky. Lekki is different. Lekki get lands for 100 million naira and above. Imagine Lekki get lands for like 800,000 naira, 600,000 naira, depending on its location. So the further it is, the cheaper it is. The further it is, the cheaper it is. So you get for like 600,000, you can even get for like 500,000 naira, yeah? But then just know that it's a distance and then the documents are also being processed. I hope you understand that. Thank you. So our next comment is from chinaro chuku this is my second transaction with confidence she's the best extremely professional invest with confidence don't wait it will sell out thank you so much dr chinaro thank you i really appreciate this comment and if we've had um if i've 
served you rightly, you could also, you know, leave a comment too. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Dr. Chinaro. You are an amazing client too. And to all my amazing clients there, thank you so much for your patronage. I truly appreciate it. And now to our next comment is from Christ Method. Nigeria is a funny place. I'm an architect, but seeing you advertising virgin land like this speaks volume to me. No road network, no utility, no electrification, and we want to start selling. Just like that. I doubt if a car can travel on that sand. Anyway, we'll get there someday. All right, I have to reiterate again. Um, this is Ibechuleki. It's a developing part of Lagos. You see so many lands with no good roads. I mean, these are estates that are coming up. We're just buying land to build an estate and you can buy a land and then you see road. It doesn't work that way. You buy land, we sell, we, we, we have a layout and the layout shows the road. I mean, if you ask for the layout, there is a layout that shows the road network, right? And these will be done. Electricity. Yeah, there is electricity in Ibechuleki already. I think I said that in my video. So please, if you can watch till the end, so you watch and you watch till the end and you comment. You don't watch half or two minutes and then comment. Thank you. So this is, I mean, it's a developing part of Lagos and um, all of this will definitely come into a better like it pretty soon. Pretty, pretty soon, okay? Thank you. Our next comment is from St. Omens. I hope I got that right. If I didn't, my apologies. How easy is the process to buy when you are not living in the country? I'm from Nigeria, but I live in the UK. Sounds like a good investment for me. Yes, <laughs> it's really easy. Really, really easy. Just contact me, contact the number on your screen, and I mean, we'll take it from there. It's pretty easy. Look, we have a lot of people who are not even Nigerians who have bought properties. Like, it amazes me. We have a lot of people, you know, bought properties over and over again not nigerians never been to nigeria they just love nigeria and then they contact me and i'm so eager i'm excited it makes me happy when non-nigerians actually you know want to invest in my country i'm i'm really happy so if you're from nigeria then that that's even easier you can always contact me and i will be so glad to give you the breakdown i will walk you through every every process it's seamless actually seamless our next comment is from african tree i'm afraid on the land close to the ocean I'm afraid of owning the land close to the ocean, but I still love your style and presentation. Plus, I can't wait to go on a date with you when I return. Okay, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> okay, so let's 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 answer that you know that concern. Let's visit that concern first. Yeah, so owning the land close to the ocean. Yeah, I understand your fears. I mean, everyone has their fears, right? But then there's a setback, and um, we can't control nature. We can only hope for the best when it comes to nature. And we've never experienced such in Ibeju Leki before. Whatever fears or concerns you have, it has never happened in Ibeju Leki. And um, it's a great area. But if you don't, we also have properties that are not close to the beach. And don't forget, Lagos is an island, it's surrounded by water. But all the same, we have properties that are not close to the beach. We have other properties um, selling for 800,000, for 1 million, for 5, 5 million, 10 million, 20 million, 30. Look, just, just name your budget. Name it. And I have everything in my portfolio just for you. So you know what to do, African truly. You just call my number and I will be glad to give you the very best of real estate. Your choice, your choice, whatever you want. Our next comment is from Weeks and wine wigs and wine omg i'm coming to africa i'm from los angeles oh wigs and wine i will be looking forward to seeing you like one thing that has gotten me excited this period is the fact that the airport is open but sadly some people can't still come back home you know and so some of my clients are actually coming down so i've been really excited because i will be seeing so many people so Weeks and wine, whenever you decide to come to Africa, and I hope you choose Nigeria, trust me, I will be super excited to host you, to show you around, you know, to just make you feel at home. Because Nigeria, despite all we get here, you know, it's a fantastic place to be. It's really good, really, really good, you know. So whenever you choose to come around, please holler, and I will be so glad to host you. All right, I look forward to hearing from you. Like, I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. 
So our next, next comment. Oh, there are just so many, so many. I wish I could really um, comment on every, or just speak on every comment. They're just a lot. So if, I, if I'm not talking about yours, please don't be offended. I really want to talk about everybody. But I mean, if I do that, then hours will pass by and I'm not done. Are you really going to be watching me for hours? If you're watching this for the first time, please subscribe. Turn on your notification bell because there's so many things that will be coming your way. And share, share to your friends, your family, your loved ones, everybody around you. Just share the love, okay? And if you've been watching this, thank you for staying with me. You know I love you, right? Like, I really don't have to say it all the time. Like, I, I, I really do. I, I do. I really do. So don't forget to also give a thumbs up up you know that encourages me that makes me want to do better want to do more for you so this whole channel is for you just for you the whole content everything is for you so don't forget to give a thumbs up thank you in advance thank you our next comment is from sj1 i'm in london but i'm definitely sending money to buy 1200 square meters by monday and i'm looking to build a beach house god willing all right that'll be fantastic i'll be looking forward to hearing from you you probably may have bought and maybe not as sj maybe as some someone else but please holler if you have because i'll be so excited to talk to you and express my appreciation so the next the next comment is from hugh malls it's so sweet to see so much beautiful homes in Africa. Something Western television doesn't show. Yeah, that's why I am there. Basically, to change the narrative. Like, beyond having to show homes and all, you know, I also want to change the narrative about Africa, about Nigeria. We've seen, we've heard so many terrible things about the country. It's about time we change the narrative. And I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of you for your support. And I'm so proud of this channel that we are doing our best possible. And my crew. We did our best possible to change the narrative about Africa. So thank you so much, Hugh, because this comment means a lot and it means you're seeing it. So thank you. The next comment is from Paul Michael. No land is so low that amount in Lagos. I think I've touched on that, right? The Bechuleki and the Leki. Yes, there are lands that are that low and there are lands that are lower. Remember when you go towards the mainland, like deeper parts of the mainland, you could get lands that are actually lower. So yeah, in Lagos you can get lands for that price. Um, you should conduct your search or your yeah, conduct your search and um, speak to um, consultants who can help you with such information. Thank you. The next comment is from Paul Michael again. Please stop this nonsense at 1.2 million naira land. That is absolutely a lie. So before you make a comment, I always feel to make comments like that, you should consult, you should come for an inspection, for, do your due diligence. I mean, I think the reason why there are so many issues in the country or in the world is because people make comments or make statements that they are not sure of. You know, talk about something they have little or no knowledge about. So before you talk about the fact that it's a lie, wouldn't it have been nice enough to find out? Because the truth is, you are not the only person who actually thinks it's a lie. You are not the only person who actually thinks this is not true. Well, you know the difference? A lot more people called me. They came themselves for an inspection. They saw the property. They went through the documents. They conducted their due diligence. And guess what? They bought multiple plots. So subsequently, not just in real estate, in life generally, before you um, condemn something you're not sure about or you're not sure of, it's advisable you do your due diligence, find out about it, get information on it before you castigate someone else's effort. Thank you for your comment anyway. I mean, I, with this comment, I've been able to answer some questions um, going on in other people's minds and hearts and you know, like this is a lie. No, it's not a lie. It's in Ibechuleki, Ibechuleki, Lagos. You should come see Ibechuleki yourself. That would change your narrative. I hope you do come contact me. I hope you do come. Then that would change the whole, your narrative and your ideology of 
Lagos and this whole statement. And any other person who feels this is this is a lie, if you have a relative or if you have if you're available to come down, trust me, I'll be so glad. I will be I will be so glad to take you on a tour of the like myself. And you'll be amazed. And probably you will come back and you would evangelize for me. You advertise on your platforms. Wouldn't that be a great idea? So I look forward to hearing from you, okay? Thank you. Now to our next comment <laughs> from Innocent Video Productions. Where is the bot? Because it seems to cheat for me. Yes, I understand. I mean, when it's too good to be true, right? Well, this is true. There is no bot. It's an event lucky. I have said it earlier, you lucky. You get cheap land to you lucky. So our next comment from Moses Tepa. I hope I got that. If I didn't, my apologies. Wow, land is very cheap in Nigeria. How can I buy a plot from Accra? Please contact me. You can call any of the numbers on your screen. You can send a WhatsApp message and we'll be right there to answer your questions and help you secure a plot or more from our property. Thank you for your interest and your inquiry. Our next comment is from Kahinde Bashwa. Is this legit free from government acquisition? Hope you don't mind if I find a surveyor to chat and verify the property. Yes, yes, please go ahead and, um, you know, get your surveyor to chat and do whatever due diligence is necessary. Look, I always advise due diligence is conducted. So yeah, I will appreciate if that is done. I think I've spoken about that already. So you can go ahead and um, contact me and give you the coordinates, get your coordinates yourself if you want to and do what, I mean, do this, it's necessary, right? Yep, 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 yeah. We've come to the end of this this particular section or episode. I'm so glad to have you know discussed this with you. I hope I answered your questions. I hope I was able to, you know, um answer those unspoken questions too. I hope I was able to do that. You can also, you know, send me mails or, or messages, WhatsApp messages if you have other concerns. I will be so glad to, you know, respond to you. you could contact any of the numbers on your screen yeah so we've come to the end of this episode and i'm excited you know i don't want to leave your face but i have to it's been a long long um long episode and i think you have to you know do other things but don't forget to like this video subscribe turn on your notification bell and give yeah give me a thumbs up and share Till I come your way again, my name is Confidence and I am your number one real estate consultant. Your number one real estate consultant that gives you the very best of every single thing real estate within your budget. So, till I come your way again, don't forget to keep smiling, stay happy because I love you endlessly. Bye for now. <laughs>